Good morning, it is quarter to six, 5.45 a.m. Uh, just outside of St. Anton in the Austrian Alps and it is a perfect start to a summer day here. We've got some really nice variant light coming through and getting some good long exposure shots and it's, yeah, a nice start to two days behind the scenes here in St. Anton. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of mountain biking and hiking and some mountain yoga. So stay with us because that all starts right now. So that is the sunrise session done. Absolutely perfect. I was really hoping for that banger image of like, you know, beautiful colors and sort of floating clouds. And I think we got that, definitely got it with the drone. So uh, yeah, I mean, like any campaign and all the videos, if you've been watching them that I've been doing, it's really, really important to that you shoot the best light, which is quite often sunrise, but often uh, also sunset. So yeah, wherever you are, even if it's really early, get up and shoot that light. Session done, second breakfast done. Now let's go and get some yogurt. Yogurt. St. Anton has a mountain yoga festival that's happening at the end of this month and they want us to create some content to help market it. So Nelly's really the, the, uh, the yoga professional. I love it, yeah. And I'm not a professional. Yeah. I really enjoy it. And you've been practicing in Alicante and stuff. Yeah. So, it's nice. Oh, come back. Gimbal acts up sometimes and just sort of does his own thing. But in general, it's pretty awesome. And I love you. So we made it to the yoga location. This place is absolutely perfect. We've got great views of all the peaks and the valley sort of leading down away from St. Anton towards Innsbruck. And now it's time to set up. So when I get to the spot where I'm gonna be shooting, especially an activity like yoga, I've got the pack down there and I'm gonna get out the tripod and the cannon and the filters and just set, start setting up my scene. That's it for the yoga session this morning. Sandy and Nelly did a fantastic job as well as the other girls. And I got to run around getting video footage and some photographs because the St. Anton Yoga Mountain Festival is coming up in about three weeks. It's at the end of August. And they want to use the photographs that we just got here today and a few from yesterday uh, to help market the event. The yoga festival is gonna be awesome. So if you're keen, check it out. A very good sunrise session and some mountain yoga. It is now early afternoon in St. Anton and we are off uh, to go e-biking down the river here to a next town called Petnoy. And then we're going up to the Nestle Island from there to get a different view on the valley.
Hanoi and there's this beautiful old church here and uh, this is where we start going up. We just found wild raspberries. It's like birthday and Christmas together. Here in Bet Noi, and this is the, the new Nestle arm, and this is the old Nestle arm, which is, which is now a museum. And yeah, we will we'll have a look now for that. And yeah, perfect, you excited? I'm excited, super excited. It's an old arm, it used to be one of the um, places with the most sun back in the days, and that's why they would take the animals here first and had a bit of a privileged position in this area. Animals had a pretty nice view from here too. This is where the cows used to come in the summer. Check that out. Not bad. There are loads of uh, alms, even over the mountains and everywhere. So in the uh, middle of the summer, they're going up and up and up. And in the before summer, they're more in the, in the, in the valley down there. And uh, you can see much more than from cows and everything. So we're up here at the Nestler Alm and it looks like the weather has turned on us. It is sort of late afternoon now and it is definitely raining down there in St. Anton. So I think what we're gonna do is maybe just sit it out because I've got a lot of gear in my backpack and I'm not sure how waterproof it is and of course I don't have a rain cover for it. Half an hour later and the sun is back. We are going that way, which is really, really good because that shit weather is right there. So, time to head back to St. Anton. sunset time and I want to vlog uh, the packing process because I've been lugging a lot of stuff around to get the right shots and the right footage for the client St. Anton and I know that some of you guys who are watching this are interested in the gear that I use to uh, to make these videos so it's sort of all laid out in disarray here but I've got a uh, day pack style thing. It's pretty big. It's like 40 liters from Cabin Zero, which is a UK company. And it's more or less just like a big open space. I should probably have better dividers, but I just use like the lens bags that came with the lenses and they tend to be all right. Tripod, carbon fiber tripod goes on the outside. I'm going to bring the Canon 5D3 here. Um, and the 16 to 35, 2.8 uh, for those wide angle shots, and then the 70 to 200, which is in this bag, the big beast, the heavy one, um, and the gimbal for the GH5, which I'm not using right now, but I probably should be. This is the Zion Tech Crane GH5, which I'm shooting on right now, and the mic, uh, and that's it, yeah. So we made it to our sunset spot. It's a little loud because the river is right underneath us, so I'll try and speak a bit clearer. But this is the Rosanna River, which runs from St. Anton all the way through the valley, I think in the direction of Innsbruck. But uh, this is our sunset spot, and I think it's gonna look pretty good if we can get a nice shot on that mountain. Can't see it because it's overexposed, but you will see it soon enough because we're gonna set up the 5D and start getting some shots. What are we shooting? This is a time lapse using Magic Lantern. The clouds are moving relatively slowly, but I'm gonna set it at one second intervals and then just like film for 10 minutes and see what comes out. shooting sunset and it is the end of our day exploring St. Anton in Austria. 
Yeah, unfortunately the sunset wasn't as exciting as we thought it would be, but it was still cool and I think it was always important to check it out at least because you never know what it's going to be like. Yeah, especially, you know, sunrise and sunset. Uh, the light didn't really pop. We got a couple time lapses and it was, it was almost like we wanted to, but just didn't get it. I'll throw those in there at the end here so you can see it. Ended up taking one photograph. I think you got a couple as well. Yeah, uh, okay shots, yeah. Uh, but the one photograph I actually think is really quite good. So instead of uh, testing out different techniques, I just kept that one frame. And sometimes, at least for my photography, if you get what you think is probably the best image, then you can move on. And uh, with digital photography, it's really difficult because you can take so many. And now I'm gonna start blabbing on this whole other subject. But I got one good shot. I'll share it with you now and that's it. So yeah. Thanks for watching our vlog. I hope you liked it and we see you on the next one. See you then.